tell you today about work uh, on development of a vaccine against cancer. A promising weapon in the war on cancer launched right here in western New York. Good evening to you. Roswell Park Cancer Institute is paving the way to new hope for cancer patients. The renowned hospital is now testing a possible vaccine, one that could wipe out cancer cells and prevent them from coming back. This would revolutionize treatment for cancer patients. And we have team coverage tonight, beginning with News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg, who is live from Roswell Park. Rich? Well, this vaccine has so much potential, according to researchers here at Roswell Park, that it may become one of the key ways of treating cancer and preventing relapse. Researchers at Roswell Park Cancer Institute have created a vaccine designed to kill cancer cells in the body and prevent them from coming back. We are launching a, um, a new clinical trial that will harness the power of the immune system to fight cancer. The vaccine produced in a special chamber that strictly controls temperature and atmospheric gases will use a special protein that will recruit an army of killer immune cells that seek out and destroy cancer. To train your immune system to recognize cancer and to fight it off. What is truly remarkable about this discovery is that the vaccine is designed to train the body's defenses to never forget how to kill cancer cells. Roswell Park immunologist Dr. Protul Shrikant discovered that a drug called repamycin, used for many years to prevent rejection of organ transplants, also produces immune cells that in a sense have memory, always remembering that cancer cells are bad and should be attacked and killed. He said the discovery was quite accidental. It's kind of serendipitous because we just tested this concept that uh, came from nowhere in a laboratory setting and it did work and it was hard to imagine. 18 to 20 patients fighting many different forms of cancer will be chosen for the first phase of clinical trials. Nancy Holloman, a fundraiser at Roswell Park who has fought three types of cancer, most recently of the breast, hopes she will be among them. She wants the potential protection the vaccine offers. To know that you could have something that would be in your system and have this memory and be there long term, I think would just give you just another little help you with your peace of mind. If the first phase of clinical trials is successful, larger studies will be conducted. It may be several years before the vaccine could be marketed, if it's proven to be a cancer fighter for the life of the patient. Now, early indications are that this new vaccine will not only fight cancer, but also spare the patient the, the unpleasant side effects of other cancer treatments. Reporting live at Roswell Park, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 5.